The next thing I want, I want to take a look at, okay? The liver, one of the most important organs inside your body. Now, when it comes to the liver now, the liver needs bitter things. For the liver to actually secrete bile, it needs bitter stimulant. So even on the back of your tongue, even on the back of your tongue, you have bitter receptors on the back of your tongue. Now on the tip of your tongue, okay, on the tip of your tongue, that actually has the receptors for you to taste sweet things, you see, or to pick up the sugar inside of different kind of fruits and vegetables or whatnot. But on the back of your tongue, you have the bitter receptors, okay, and so when you eat bitter things or you drink the bitter herbs, it actually sends a signal to the liver to say, hey, secrete bile, digestion. So yes, you need to eat sweet things and you also need to eat bitter things. Most of y'all, you want to live your entire life just on the spectrum of eating the sugary goodies, right? Because you're a sugar crackhead. That, 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 that's what it is. Notice, you can eat a whole bunch of sugar, right? Unlimited amount of sugar. But the moment you got to drink something that tastes bitter, it's like, oh, it's the end of the world. I can't drink this. Yes, you can. Okay? Just like them have the yin to the yang. The yin yang, you're going to need a balance. Okay? So yes, you, you eat sweet stuff, but you also have time when you have to eat bitter things as well. So... The liver, dandelion, dandelion greens is good for the liver. Dandelion root tea is also good for the liver as well. Bitter melon, good for the liver. Uh, milk thistle, good for the liver. Bitter things are very, very good for, for detoxing and cleansing out the liver.